We finally reached the last bye week. Cam Newton helped many owners win their matchups with his monster game in Week 10. Newton has been up and down this season. He's had five games over 20 fantasy points and five games under 15 points. His schedule doesn't look too bad down the stretch with the exception of facing the Vikings. If Newton can continue to develop chemistry with his receivers, we can expect more results like Week 10. Another bonus is the pending return of Greg Olson. It's too bad we'll have to wait until Week 11 to start Newton again. Kirk Cousins did his best Newton imitation by scoring two touchdowns on the ground in Week 10. It definitely helped his fantasy point total, as he only passed for one touchdown. We'd all like to see him with more consistent production from his wide receivers. It finally looks like a connection is forming with Josh Doctson. At least he has some excellent running backs and tight ends to pass to. His matchup this week is rough, facing New Orleans on the road. But I like his schedule the rest of the way through to Week 16. Carolina, Indianapolis, Miami, the New York Jets, San Francisco and Tampa Bay have their bye this week. Cam Newton is the biggest loss, as he currently sits among the top 10 fantasy quarterbacks. Josh McCown and Jacoby Brissett have played pretty well despite it playing on teams that have issues. Ryan Fitzpatrick and Derek Carr should be looked at as bi-week replacements.